guys, um, it's Wednesday today, I don't know why I just had that really embarrassing intro, um, apologies about that, but I spent the morning doing uni work and also replying to YouTube comments and literally, like, I'm feeling anxious today, but doing that and, like, seeing you guys' kind words just cheered me up immensely and I just thought, like, I don't want to wait any longer to come back to vlogging, like, I just, I miss you guys so much and I just think you offer me something, so, like, I should offer you something, you know, and I, I know a lot of you have been missing them, so here I am, I am back. My camera batteries on like nada so I might end up I say I might end up having to switch to the iPhone but I remember I tried to use the iPhone before and it doesn't seem to work which is really really weird um, I can't get the stuff from it onto my iPads like I could with my old iPhone so that's a bit strange so what I'll do is I'll plug this in this battery and after I finish this clip today is just a day of getting sort of organised doing uni work um, I'm going to weigh in tonight as well at half past five so I need to get ready now because it's like the back of three and I'm going to get ready I'm going to take some money around to the guy who fixed my car and then I'm going to go to the shops I need to go to Aldi, B&M and I'm also going to go and get some gluten free cheesecake literally so excited for this because obviously I get a little treat after weighing um, oh and I need to go to Tesco because I'm like totally obsessed with this rice I actually have the packaging sorry guys I'm in my towel by the way this is probably a little bit awkward but I'm just at the shower um, so basically I'm a little bit obsessed with this new rice, it's the Tilda Brown Basmati and Quinoa. Um, I had it last night and it was just delicious and if you don't have a microwave like me then you just literally fry it in the pan. So I'm going to go and get some more of that because I'm going to do a chicken and mushroom crisp bake tonight, it's a gluten free one with that rice and some peas. So it's a couple of hours later guys and I am back from weighing. Um, basically I put on half a pound which I'm totally fine about it because um, I haven't been for three weeks, I've been really bad, I've just kind of been out of the routine. Um, so I was expecting that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tough for that to be honest, like half a pound three weeks, not bad at all considering I've been eating out quite a lot and yeah, fine with that. I do go to Slimming World um, and Basically, I don't really follow the plan, which, like, that's not great. That's not a great thing to say, you know, and if you are going to Slimming World, like, just stop listening to me right now because, like, this is not the right place for you to be. Like, I do it to a certain extent because I have these wraps that I get from Tesco, gluten-free ones, and they are my Healthy Extra B. So I make sure that I'm having one of them a day. Um, and I do always have my cheese, which is my Healthy Extra A. So like I am to a certain extent following it, but I just feel like I'm kind of at times just doing my own thing. Um, but I know, like I've lost weight before, so I know sort of what the routine is and what sort of thing you should be doing. And basically, the way that I lost weight before was like the Slimming World way, because basically what it is, is it's like a low fat diet. Um, yeah, that's how it seems to, to work, it's sort of low fat, high protein. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of doing my own thing, but it has been working. So I just need to get back to it and just really stick to it because I'm at 9 stone 11 and basically my target is 9 stone. So like that's not far. Um, I've lost half a stone, I'm sure I can do another 11 pounds. Yeah, after weighing I wasn't feeling too good. I was feeling really shaky and I just came home like I didn't stay for the talk because I just felt like I needed to eat something. And I had food in my car so I'm going to show you what I bought because basically before I went to weigh and I went to the shops. I went to three different shops. Um, we went to Aldi, B&M and Tesco, so I'll just show you just now what I bought. Also, another thing that I have to share with you guys, I bought this yesterday in Sainsbury's and it's literally the most delicious thing I've ever eaten in my life. The Lint Caramel with a touch of sea salt and it's the dark one, it is delicious. Right, so I've got a big bag here just of everything mixed together, so I'm just going to pull it out at random. Um, I'll talk about the stuff I bought in Tesco, I only went in there to get one thing and it was five bags of this rice, which seems a little bit unnecessary, but I absolutely love it and it's on offer for a pound, so it's the Tilda Brown Basmati and Quinoa. Um, okay, so Aldi, I can see some Aldi stuff here, well this is from Aldi, it's the rice cake bars which are gluten free and they're really really tasty. I had the normal ones but I didn't even realise they had a orange coated one so I'm really excited to try them. And what else did I get in Aldi? I don't know. Oh, I got some more chocolate, like literally have a chocolate obsession. Um, I got the orange and almonds which is some of my absolute favourite, the dark chocolate one and I got some whispers. And then I went into B&M and what did I go in for? Oh, I went in to see if they had any of that rice, but they didn't. So I got a few things. I got some hot chocolate to have, um, a couple of tins of this, which is the beans and pork sausages. It's really handy for like a baked potato. 
just some womanly stuff and then I also got these which are really really nice actually gluten infused veil, they're rice crackers, teriyaki flavour and as you can see I had two little lines of them in the car because I was absolutely starving and I think that's it, yeah that's us. I did go a little bit mad with chocolate, like I, I don't know what my problem is but I just seem to not be able to resist chocolate, like everywhere I go I buy it, I mean that's probably why I'm putting on half a pound, like if I could ban the chocolate out of my life I would literally lose like one to two pounds a week because I think that's where the majority of like my calories come from, that sounds really bad doesn't it, like I do actually eat healthily but in terms of like unnecessary extras, like, basically I do eat too much chocolate and I know it's a problem, like I seem to be relying on it a little bit, like if I don't have like my sort of chocolate fix then I get a bit like mm -hmm. And I think it's like, I don't know, because you know what chocolate's like, it kind of like gives you like, it kind of gives you a boost right away and then just kind of like a low, so I think I'm getting a little bit addicted to the sort of high before the low. So anyway, the moral of the story is I am going to cut down my chocolate intake a little bit and just have like one little tea a day. Um, I'm making some dinner right now actually, I'm going to make some, well I'm going to make a crisp bake, let me see if I can find it in my freezer to show you. It's an m and gluten free um, chicken and mushroom crisp bake because it was on offer for 70 pence so you really can't argue with that but I do actually really like them. So I'm making that with some peas on the side and I'm also going to have that rice that I just showed you. And that's pretty much it, it's really pretty unexciting this evening but I just felt like I wanted to vlog again. I just literally, I'm going to set this here, I literally miss you guys so so much and you're just so lovely and as I say earlier when I was going through all my comments I just thought no I'm going to vlog, like why am I putting this off, this is something so easy and something I'm so capable of doing, it doesn't even take any extra time. Um, so yeah I'm happy to be back and this will be obviously probably a shorter vlog, maybe not because I have talked a lot today. But um, it won't be the full week on Monday, obviously, it'll be Wednesday onwards. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to sort of organise everything, put everything away and get my dinner ready. Right, I ended up not moving, guys, because I sat down and got so comfy against this radiator. Um, but I wanted to come here and just thank you guys so, so much for your support on like my past two videos, particularly the health anxiety one. I mean, you guys were just amazing and you just, honestly, like, you blow me away. Like, I literally have the nicest subscribers ever and it just means the world to me like you're just all so lovely honestly I can't even express it in words but thank you thank you thank you and I am going to do an update on what's been going on with that um but yeah that'll come in the future good morning guys it is Thursday I have got the day of work today I normally work a Thursday um but I've got some holidays so I'm off and I had set my alarm for eight o'clock because I went to bed at half past eleven last night um and now it's currently 20 to 10, so I did well with that one. Um, I had said when I set my alarm last night that I was going to be up and I was going to be down doing uni work by 9 o'clock. But that's just not, it's just not realistic. That's just not me. So um, I'm going to get up right now. I've just watched a few YouTube videos and kind of checked out social media and all that jazz. And I'm just going to get up and I'm going to go down and make some breakfast, a cup of tea, and then I'm going to get started with my uni work. Other than that, there's not a lot happening, like I just feel like this sort of time is really boring, like today, tomorrow and Saturday are pretty much all just uni work, um, but hopefully Saturday night I'm going out with the girls um, for Halloween and then Sunday hopefully it's going to be a little bit more exciting than the next three days. But anyway, I need to get on and get a lot of work done today, so that's the aim. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and make some breakfast. Good evening guys. Um, it's Thursday night. I basically haven't done a lot of vlogging actually. I've been feeling at it today. But um, it wasn't really that much of an exciting day. I spent a bit of time with my sister and then we both spent some time working on some stuff. Um, she was doing some of her own stuff and I was doing my uni work. Um, yeah, and I've finished basically my draft proposal for my dissertation so that's good so that's kind of progress made with that so I'm going to print it off tomorrow um, at uni and like read it like that because sometimes I just feel like you need to see something um, so that's what I'm going to do and yeah tonight I'm taking my sister home so we're leaving in about 30-40 minutes so I'm going to take her back to where she stays um, it takes me about 40 minutes to get there and then obviously the same back so I'll get back for kind of just before nine but I think it's just nice to get out and go for a little drive because I don't know like it's crazy because like 
driving used to give me anxiety but actually now when I'm feeling a little bit anxious it kind of helps me and I've still been feeling a little bit like that all day so yeah I think it's going to help me and it's going to just kind of chill me out um, that's the plan anyway although it's dark so who knows but that's about it I think I'll take her back and then come back and I might do a little bit more work or I might just call it quits for tonight um, I'm going to go into uni early tomorrow I'm going to head through for probably like 10 maybe 11 just depends and I'm going to get some work done there um, I've got another thing that needs to work on which is due on the 11th of November so that's what I'm going to be spending time doing and yeah other than that there's not really a lot to report to be honest it's been a pretty unexciting uneventful day um, and yeah I was just replying to some more YouTube comments there and I need to tidy my bed because look at this this is ridiculous I did not make my bed today as you can see um, so I'm going to do that just now, just kind of tidy my room a little bit and yeah, I'm not going to do any work before I go because I just feel a bit kind of like, I don't know, like anxious to go like I just don't want to sit down and start doing any work so I might just watch a couple of videos I did actually have one more thing to update you on I don't know if I've mentioned this or not already um, but I'm going to be getting my car on Monday basically what's happening is my mum is getting her new car tomorrow so that's going to be exciting as well um, and she's handing in her old one they've said they're going to clean it and do all that sort of stuff um, that was like part of the terms and conditions of her buying her new mini because she wanted it nice and clean for me which was really nice so they are going to deliver it to the house on Monday which is awesome um, yeah so I wanted to update you on that so I spent some time today as well phoning my insurance to sort out, sort of getting it changed over, but it's looking like it's going to be a, a little bit too pricey. Um, so I do have some quotes for online which are much cheaper, so I'm going to go with that. So I need to get that done because uh, it'll be Monday that I start, but I don't know whether to keep my old car on the road just for like a little bit of a changeover period, because I'm, honestly I'm really nervous about driving the Mini. I've just, I've got no recent experience of a manual and then also my brother was talking to me tonight and he's telling me how difficult the mini is to drive I'm like thanks Sam really appreciate that like filling me with confidence here he just says like the clutch is really hard so I don't know um I don't know if that's because it's a diesel or no idea but anyway um I'm just gonna have to give that a bash I don't know if I should go out and like try before Monday I really do feel like I need some practice um but yeah I wanted to update you on that because it's so exciting so it's still Thursday night but I wanted to show you what I have in my little treat bin. Um, basically today I've had kind of like a bad day and I've had quite a lot of treats. So I've decided that I'm only going to allow myself to have one of these every single day. So this will do me for the next 20 days because I counted them and there's 20 in here. Um, and these are just my mini marshmallows which I use my hot chocolates by the way. So I thought I would show you them as well. Um, but yeah, so in here I have these rice cake bars. These are gluten free. You get them at Aldi and you've got the different kinds. So you've got the orange ones. Um, and then just the plain ones and they're both dark chocolate. Are these normal chocolate? I can't remember. I think these are milk actually and I think these are dark chocolate. Not too sure. Um, but they're lovely. So I've got quite a few of them. Then I have got some wispas in here. Although these seem different. I don't know if I've bought the smaller ones but they seem totally different to the ones I had before. So I've got wispas. Like that's like the normal one that I had before. Maybe they are just smaller. I think they might be. Anyway, lots of whispers, twirls in the bottom there. And then this is the other chocolate that I get from Aldi, which I love. And it's the Mosser Roth. And this is the orange and almond dark chocolate one. I absolutely love that. And then this is a little bit left over of the chocolate that I showed you earlier. That's how bad I've been. I've eaten that as well. Um, so yeah, that'll do one night, the two squares of that. So yeah, there's 20 things in here. So this should get me through the next... Well, nearly three weeks essentially, right? I mean, basically I can make that last in three weeks. So I need to be good and I need to just have one a day. Good morning, guys. Um, I'm halfway through drying my hair and I'm just really not feeling great, basically. It is women time of the month and it just kills me, like, especially my first day. It just totally ruins my day, which I know seems a bit ridiculous, but um, it just makes you feel so crappy and I just get a lot of pain with it so basically I'm having like a bit of a slow morning um, I got up at half past eight and it's now coming up quarter to ten um, I went in the shower and then I made some breakfast I had some gluten free pancakes which was really nice but I made too many, I made three because there's six in the packet and it says like use within 24 hours of opening like I'm sure they'd be fine for a couple of days um, and I'll maybe do that in future but I thought I'll use three today and three tomorrow um, so yeah, I had them with some banana and some syrup, um, but yeah, I just feel really crappy and I feel a little bit sick to be honest, I just think that was like too much for this time in the morning, but anyway, I, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find some pills to take to help with the pain. I'm gonna finish dyeing my hair and eventually I'm gonna get into uni because that's basically where I'm heading off to today to go and get some work done. Um, it's just gonna be a bit of a long day if I'm feeling like this the whole day, but c'est la vie, that's just life. Um, I'm gonna go and get on with it and just take a big bottle of water and stay hydrated and stuff and eat a nice salad or something for lunch, something nice and healthy which is gonna make me feel good. Literally guys, this dressing gown that I have is like the coziest thing ever and it has ears. I got this from Marks and Spencer, it's like so, so cute. Um, oh, just taking my old dressing table with me. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'm gonna make this steak out. Change of plan guys, I am not going into uni because I feel awful. <laughs> like so much pain so sick and I don't know it's just like not a good thing to be doing when I feel like this so I'm gonna take a bath um, I'm running a bath right now I've put in some Lush comforter and uh, I'm gonna sit in the bath and watch something and just try and feel a little bit better and then Hopefully, like normally it does pass, it normally takes about two or three hours and it just passes and then hopefully I can get on with some uni work this afternoon. It's just frustrating because the past two Fridays I've gone into uni and I just, I feel like I am more productive there but um, no, I'm not going to go in feeling like this. Tomorrow night we're meant to be going out for Halloween and honestly I just, <sighs> like the thought of that right now and I know that's because I'm in pain so, um, like I could feel totally different tomorrow but the thought of that right now is just horrific quite frankly so I'm just hoping that I feel better because literally like the, if you're a girl you'll understand this like the thought of a night out on your period is just like it's too much it's too much to even comprehend like you just need to be in your bed with a hot water bottle and a show. I made such an effort today and like I literally didn't even have to like what is going on right now like I've come out the bath and my hair is absolutely crazy and my makeup is completely smudged so basically doing my makeup and my hair was a complete waste of time but anyway um, I don't even know how long I've been in the bath because I don't even know what time it is but that really made me feel a lot better I think I was in there for at least an hour um, so I'm going to put on some comfy clothes I might just put on like a comfy pair of bottoms but I think I'm going to put on an actual top because I don't know it just makes me feel a little bit more productive when I wear like an actual top I don't know why that is like but yeah that's kind of how I feel um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get set up on this bed get all my stuff out and I'm going to get on with my work okay change of plan I'm just going to wear my pyjamas because this is nice and cosy I've put on some I've put on some clean ones um, and I took my hair out my ponytail and you can see it's kind of like wavy and I quite like that look like I've always kind of wanted to like crimp my hair but I just have no idea how to do that um, I always wear my hair straight every single day just because it's like the easiest thing you know I just get up and I just dry it but I think I need to start being a little bit more adventurous my friend Hannah literally was sending me snaps there um, she's my uni friend and she got her hair done yesterday and I kid you not it looks flawless like it's absolutely beautiful I just keep complimenting her on it because it's just so stunning um, but yes anyway now it's time to get on Good afternoon guys, it's Saturday today and it's currently half past two and I am about to sit and watch a Netflix show which I'm going to share with you in a little sec but I wanted to tell you a little bit about my day. Um, this morning I went out to look at my mum's new car, she's got a brand new mini convertible, it's absolutely beautiful and I did put some pictures on um, Snapchat so if you're interested go and follow me over on Snapchat and Instagram, I'll leave the links down below because I put quite a lot on them. Um, yeah, so we went out to have a little look and then we were both in our pyjamas and she's like let's just go for a drive so we had the top down we were driving about and I literally could not stop laughing that whole journey I just thought it was absolutely hilarious um, and I did actually film a little video which was on Snapchat as well so yeah it was just it was such a funny moment and it was one of those moments that I'll remember forever because it just sums up my mum in one she just literally doesn't care what people think and I just think that that's brilliant and it's something I've always really admired about her like I would be too you know too embarrassed like I was like mum we can't go out in our pyjamas but she's like oh live a little you know let's go for a wee drive around the block so it was absolutely hilarious and it's a memory that I'll hold for a long time definitely Um, yeah so back to what I'm doing right now 
I am sitting with a little cup of tea, um, I'm sitting on my bed and I've got my Macbook here, I'm going to have a little whisper because why not, and I have got my uni work here which I am going to start after I watch an episode of Black Mirror. Now I don't know if you guys have heard about this, um, basically it's, oh I can't remember the name of the guy now that, that wrote them, but it's really really good, it's like one off sort of episodes about different things and I watched this one yesterday which is really really good it's called Nosedive and it's about like social status it just really kind of hit home so you should definitely go and watch it because like I could literally relate to a few things in it like obviously not the majority of it because it really takes it a step too far but it was really interesting to watch so yeah I would recommend that one and the one that I'm going to watch now is number five which is Men Against Fire because I've heard people talking about this one it seems to have been all over uh, Facebook and social media and stuff. I'm going to sit and watch one of them because basically this morning my mum sat with me, it was really nice of her and she went through my proposal with me and we fixed it through a few sort of grammatical things but she basically thinks that the content's there, you know that it that it's good and that it says what I want to say so I'm a little bit less worried about that and I, I honestly don't think I'm going to do a lot more to it because I just feel like I, I don't know where to go with it, I wouldn't know where else to take it, I feel like it's done um, so really nearly at the printing stage basically. So that's made me that's made me feel a lot more chilled, so chilled that I'm going to have a cup of tea and a whisper and I'm going to watch an episode of this and then I'm going to start my other project which I have due, it's sort of port due in November, November the 11th, so I'm going to start that, it's on Aldi um, and their internationalisation strategy, so yeah I'll start that after this episode but right now I'm going to go and enjoy and then I'm going to dry my hair because as you can see it's still wet um, but obviously I was getting showered and stuff for tonight so I'm not going to do my makeup until I get ready to go out. Guys, I'm halfway through drying my hair and I wanted to chat to you because I honestly don't think that I've like loved my hair this long for a long time and I don't know why I've suddenly changed my mind about my hair and having it long because so often when it gets to this length I just kind of decide that it's too much and that I want to cut it but at the moment I'm just absolutely loving it so I'm going to just keep growing it and see how far we get hopefully kind of down here somewhere. Um, but yeah, it does seem to always sort of stop at this length so... I'm not really sure if it's going to continue to grow anymore, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of chat to you about it because I'm absolutely loving the length of it. Um, and I kind of, like, I've left it late to dry it today and it's gone, like, almost wavy. Like, it was a lot wavier before I started drying it and now the waves have kind of, like, I don't know, like, you know, if you dry it, you're, like, burning them out. I don't know. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving it. So I think I'm just going to, like, well, I don't know whether it's straighten it for tonight or whether it curl it. I'm not sure. Um, but basically I've got ages because I'm not going up to Jasmine's until half past nine and it's only four so I have five hours until I need to leave um, so I'm going get, to start getting ready like maybe about eight or something like that but I think I'm going to dry my hair and I'm going to try on my costume although I absolutely hate it but I, honestly I refuse to spend like lots on a costume so it was 15 pounds online um, but I really dislike it so yeah, I kind of wish I'd done the whole homemade thing, but to be honest, I did the homemade thing last year and it actually cost me a lot of money because you have to think about all the little things you have to buy. Um, which is a shame. I used to have a David Bowie t-shirt and I chucked it out. I think it was just worn so I binned it, but if I'd have kept that I could just worn the t-shirt and some nice wee shorts and done the makeup. But um, yeah, it definitely went. I don't have it anymore. Okay guys, I am ready. I'm officially a dead fairy. I don't even know what that is, but uh, the, the costume is £15. It seemed like a good idea. Um, let's see if you can see it a bit better here. It's basically... I need to tie this actually. And these bits get all stuck, which is really annoying, but... You know, for £15 we can roll with that. Um, and I've just got on my M&S boots, but I'm kind of like a little bit reluctant to wear them because I feel like they're going to get a little bit ruined. I'm just going to try and be careful and I'm taking my trusty big pre-mark bag. I'm just going to fill it with everything that I need, including chewing gum, lipstick, keys, money. Oh, I need to go to the cash line actually. Anyway, I'm going to head off and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Hi guys, so it's Sunday and I have got up and got ready and recovered from my hangover state slightly. I was in quite a mess this morning but I've slept it off and I've also had lots of water. I think that's really important. And uh, food as well. I think food always helps you. Your body starts to I don't know, recover when you give it some fuel essentially. So I wanted to show you my little outfit. 
I'm wearing a little hat today, a little bobble hat, which is from m and &S. um, and I've got on this scarf, I think that was from Mango a while ago. I've got on my m and checked shirt, you can't even see that, my big m and jacket, uh, black jeans and my pre-mark boots. Basically I'm heading off to Edinburgh, I'm going to the Botanic Gardens and there's like a light show on, it's going to be really exciting because it's an absolutely beautiful day. So it's going to be really nice um, and I'm going to bring the camera along and I'll take some footage of the different lights and things like that. And I don't think I'll come back with like an exit, I think I'll just say that, you know, this is the end. Um, yeah, and I'll get this edited and get it up tomorrow. So I hope you've all had a good week. I'm really, really happy to be back. I hope you're going to enjoy the vlogs again. And I'll see you next week. Bye!